my goodness. Here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on. Wow. Let's do it again, bad and show. I say we all gonna huh. go. y'all today man how y'all feel i hope y'all had a lovely day man it was nice outside it wasn't raining it wasn't real hot but it was nice i got a guest today but i'm not going to introduce him at this point what i want to do right now i gotta say this because i thought about this in my travels this week that and this is not shunning anybody or knocking anybody off this is like awareness what i'm going to talk about about being conscious of what we doing as people out here in the district. I was thinking about how drunk driving been affecting our city. People that's going to the bars, having a drink or two, maybe three or four. If you wanna have a drink, that's cool. But be conscious that you gotta drive home. And this is just not about you hurting someone else. This is about you hurting yourself. We gotta be conscious. If we know that we're a heavy drinker, then let's have a driver or let's get on a Lyft or Uber for we can get you home safe and everybody on the road can be safe. Because these accidents been killing a lot of people, man. Even kids. And this was heavy on my heart this week and I said to myself, well, let me just put this out to you all that's listening and watching this show. Let's be conscious of what we do when we leave the clubs 
in the bars after we done had a few drinks. It's very important. It's all love. All right, we're gonna move on. My man. What's up, brother? Now let me let me I wanna I wanna call you by your last name. Right. And you said it said for me. Never son. Never son. Never son. Yeah, yeah. That's right. that's new to me. Never son. That's right, new to right. me. It's an original that's, name. Is it yeah, really? Where, where is it created from? North Carolina, South? Where? Where? Actually, it uh, Richmond, Virginia. Richmond. In, in okay. The, in the Petersburg area, specifically, yeah. Ettrick area. Okay. Yeah, all right. The name. So this no, this no, my no. man Sean. Man, I was due right. to Sean by a friend of mine. Man, that told me when <laughs> when they told me they said, man, this guy is funny. You gotta have him on your show, and of course, I'm I'm willing to bring anybody on my show. That's just where I'm at in my heart. And I was like, okay, then cool. If you say that, then all right, I'm trying to see him. So we met. He, he never did any comedy for me. We just talked as men. I invited him to a show before, and right. you know, we had some little things went on that he couldn't even perform. But I still stayed in contact with him because I'm saying, guess what? I gotta get him because if these people saying he's funny, I gotta get him. So we end up hooking up again and talking, and he was like, man, look, I got you. Let me talk mm -hmm. to my people, right. and then, man, I'm going to get with you, man, and then I'm going to come on. Right. And now they're here. So what I want to do is have you introduce yourself, right. tell them where you're from, okay. and tell them uh, pretty much how did you get into being a, a stand-up comic. All right. Well, first of all, for whoever does, you know, don't know me at all, my name is Sean uh, Pee Wee Neverson. Um, I'm from New York, um, Brooklyn originally born, raised on Long Island, uh, Westbury to be exact. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, you know, I started doing stand-up comedy. I've always been funny. Uh, back in the days, I did a, a comedy show. Uh, well, actually, it was a talent show. And I, um, you know, I kind of did some stand-up there when I was like 11. Didn't okay. know what I was doing. I just got on stage because the, um, the lady, uh, the principal was like, yo, man, get up there, you know, and get up there and, you right. know, make people laugh. And I did, and um, I guess I left it alone all those years, and uh, I didn't start to come back to it until 2003. I was pitching comedy club tickets on the street in New York. If you ever been in Times Square, uh -huh. you know, those guys that walk up to you and say, hey, you like comedy? That was me, man. Oh, I, yeah? You know, yeah, hustling, <laughs> bustling, trying to get in those <laughs> comedy clubs, and I snuck my way into uh, Broadway Comedy Club, and um, I decided to go ahead and take, because I, I, I went to Virginia Union, I graduated okay. with a degree in speech and drama. So okay. I've always been on stage, I'm, you know, a seasoned actor. That's what I was, you know, doing at first. And then, um, you know, I said, you know what, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, stay on stage, minus the acting, and, um, you know, see if I can go ahead and, you know, do stand-up comedy. And then, you know, one thing happened, the next thing happened, and in two weeks I was in Japan. And oh, since wow. 2005, you know, I've been uh, steady, steady. Well, yeah, you've steady been moving and grooving. Yeah. But, be, but, but when I met you, uh, yeah. where you work at? Right. You, do you right. talk about your workplace right. or is that? Right. I, I you mean, know? I, I, you know, every now and then I do, but everybody knows uh, that I, you know, bartend by trade. I'm America's favorite bartender. Okay. <laughs> everybody knows and which, that. And which, which bar is that, though? Uh, District Chop House. I don't know if I'm uh, able to uh, advertise Yeah, but that's that, enough. That's but, good. You know, that's, District you know. Chop House is in D.C., you know. It's, um, you know, it ties into what I want to do with my television series that's going to be coming soon, too. Oh, okay. Anyway, so. Oh, okay. You know, it all kind of ties in. Yeah, so so where did you go to high school? Where? Well, I went to a high school called Roslyn High School um, um, in, uh, in on Long Island. You know, Brooklyn was a little too rough for me mm -hmm. to stay out there. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'd have been there. Right. Been there. <laughs> um, you know, but I went out to, and it's funny because my people thought that, you know, going from Brooklyn to that part of Long Island, I was missing something. Right. No, it was right there, too. Right, right, <laughs> I, right. Um, but I was just able, you know, conscious enough, I was always in tune to what, you know, I can do with my talent. So I've uh, I've always, you know, been a stickler at, you know, just, you know, focusing on what I can do. Right, know, right. You know, talent-wise. So I went to Rosin High School reluctantly. It was a, um, it was a majority white high school. Mm -hmm. You know, um, if you can notice the vernacular. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, it was a majority white high school, and, um, you know, I take pride in that. It was a, it was a great time. It was a small right, town right. In, uh, in Long Island, and, uh, yeah, that's where I did my high school at. But no comedy there. Right, right. Was, you know, I understand. No comedy, yeah. just, you know, just so, acting. You know, right. So what made you come here to the DMV? Um, well, again, I went to, um, to be honest with you, um, totally honest with you, again, I went to Virginia Union and, um, you know, it used to be so damn boring down in Richmond that we said, yo, mm -hmm. we, let's go somewhere to party. And, right, okay, you know, um, okay. 
you know, back in the uh, early 90s when I was there, it was, uh, you know, Go-Go was just popping. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Being from New York, hearing this new music, it was like, yo, what is this? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You judge it at first, but then once you get into the feel of it, so we started coming up to the Go-Go clubs up here. Okay. And getting into, you know, some getting into something, getting into something. Now, y'all hear that. We're talking about the late 90s now. Y'all hear that, man, that, that Go-Go thing there. kicking. I'm telling you. It was saying? kicking back I'm then. You, I always represent the fact that I'm the only New York guy, you know, that loved the crank and respected. Okay, okay, so, my man. Um, yeah. You got any uh, favorite go-go band, though? Um, no, because I'm not telling you no lie. I, I, the, the, the music is so authentic, it's so real. It, it, it means so much to me that, you know, um, I haven't heard a bad go-go band yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody can play. You right, know, right. Like everybody yeah. can play, the singers and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. I like you know, I like stuff I can't do. I can't right. do that. Right. That, 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 that was a perfect answer. That was, right. there you must have, right. haven't heard Let's Do It Again band yet. Oh, man. Well, listen. <laughs> let's do it again then. <laughs> let's do it again. But, yeah. So, yeah, so man. But that's how we got to, that's how I got to D.C. I started, um, you know, getting to know, I knew about the D.C. area being from New York. Right. And then um, when I actually started doing kind of comedy professionally, mm -hmm. I had just come back from Atlanta. I did some stuff out there. And um, I came here and I was just totally embraced by a few comics that, um, you know, were and still live on the scene. They right. embraced me pretty well and it felt so good. I never got, you know, that much love. And it, I've been to nine cities and stayed for at least three months to try right. to see if I could maneuver around without so much hate. And D.C. has been, yeah. D.C. has been the one, man. It's okay. been real genuine. Man, so I stayed, man. That, man. It's been five that. years, man. Yeah, I mean, man, I mean, I, I, I you know, I, I look at our city, man, which, you know, this thing can even get, um, this thing really can get kind of deep far as how Washington, D.C. just accepts everybody. You right. know what I mean? Just, right. you know what I mean? Right. Whereas though, you know, you, you got Trump right now, man, trying to build a wall. You know, because yeah. it's like that's over with now. Yeah. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you just be coming here, but that's look. that's a whole different thing. Yeah. You dig what, Matt? Yeah. But yeah. I don't want to uh, prolong my watchers, my viewers, man, too right. long, man, because it's right. like fire that I feel just to get you on this stage. Oh, yeah? Just to do, I, I already mm, know I, I can't you. do, you can't do your whole thing. You know I got you. You know what I mean? But I want to give you a little time up there, man, to, to let the viewers know, right. you know, what you got, and then we'll right. come back over and sit down, and you can tell them where they can see you at and right. what you got coming up and things like that. Man, we can keep so we're going to go to a break real fast, man, and then... uh when he come back, man, y'all going to hear what he can do. We're going to do this for y'all, man. Little something we put together. Huh? It's called U.I.A. Don't play with you.
What's up, y'all? What's going on? What's up, what's up? Hey, man. Yeah, put your hands together. I need a little crowd in this, in this this evening. Listen, before I get started, um, I got to let y'all know that I have to give a special shout-out before we get the funny going. I got to give a special shout-out to my, uh, my promotional team that are in the building. They always follow me. They're here. They're making sure everything is good. We link promotions one. We'll talk about how I'll link all of that later. We're going to interview and do all that. But we got to shout out the team in the building, always showing love. Uh, my connect link to DC. Um, I do, and we do, have a show this Friday, right? So I'm going to give y'all a little bit, you know, a little bit of material, but not all the way to material, because I really want y'all to come out this Friday night. This show is going to be popping DC Drives, 1045, Attack of the Comics. Your boy is, uh, you know, specializing on the routines up there. I'll be up there for a half an hour you know, giving y'all that love and that power. So uh, I ain't going to give you too much, but I'm going to give you enough to get your giggle on. But I'm just going to please whoever I got in the crowd. Y'all good? Everybody good? Everybody straight? Everybody wash their feet, right? Yeah. That's good. It's good to wash your feet. You got to make sure you wash your feet. Well, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do what I call a greatest hit joint. You know, I got a lot of fans, and I know they're watching. I appreciate y'all for watching. I'm going to do some throwback shit. If I, I can curse, right? All right, yeah, I got curse. I'm going to do some throwback jokes just to get you guys ready to come on out to see a brother on this evening. Now, um, I can tell you, when I first started doing stand-up comedy, this is one of the jokes that you might see at that joint. Um, I, when I first started stand-up comedy, I knew I was funny as hell as soon as I got locked up. Because, you know, as soon as you get locked up you, and motherfuckers know you got talent, you're going to have to impress them. You got to impress them. And in Richmond, I got locked up in Richmond City Jail. You know, they got them deep... Richmond deep accents, man. As soon as I got a brother deep voice came in there, he recognized me too because he seen me at the funny bone. As soon as he seen me, he said, Hey, what's up, bro? Ain't you that funny motherfucker? Hey, man, you just got in here. Would you driving on suspended car? Okay, well, make us laugh right quick. I'm like, you know, man, I ain't, I ain't here to make you laugh, man. I'm from New York. I'm representing, trying to buff my chest up. Man, I'm from New York. I ain't trying to make you laugh. He said, Man, you better make me laugh real quick. Make us laugh, matter of fact. And you better do that, Bernie Mac. We like that shit. So I'm still representing where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to go in there and do my 10 days, and I'm going to get the hell on out there. So I look at him. I said, man, listen, I ain't doing no goddamn Bernie Mac. I don't give a fuck what you say. I'm getting out here in five days. I'm driving on suspended your ass, probably in here for two years. He cut me off. He said, fuck that shit, nigga. You better do it quick before we get Tay-Tay on you. I said, who the fuck is Tay-Tay? I look in the corner. Tay-Tay said, hey. I said, look here, motherfucker. I'm sick of this shit. You want some fucking Bernie Mac? Here the fuck it go. My Aunt Lucy, the bitch can't cook a lick. She get on my motherfucking nerves. She made me play the other day. The fool was black as me. I said, Lucy, what the fuck is this? She said, this here Cajun. I said, bitch, if this Cajun, I'm Caucasian. I gave that motherfucker that Bernie Mac so they wouldn't attack me down in Richmond. You know, them cats is real, you know, real specific and shit like that. And there's so many other, other plethora of things that I do. Um, anybody smoke? Be honest. Be honest. Be honest in the studio. Police ain't here. Do anybody smoke weed? Right. Right. Lying motherfuckers. <laughs> Lying in the studio, man. But listen, man, I don't, I, I like smoking weed. I love smoking, anybody love smoking weed out there? Raise your hand, put it down, give a fuck. Don't judge me, I smoke it, right? United States of America. The only thing I, uh, uh, only thing I don't, I like smoking with everybody except for my uncle. I hate smoking my uncle. You know, my uncle, um, my uncle is, uh, you know, he, um, uh, so my uncle got Tourette's, right? And he swear he an R&B singer. And he takes some of the best motherfucking songs and fuck them up. Because he curse all through the shit. And it's only because he get high. I remember one time he got so motherfucking high, he told me a story that ain't make no motherfucking sense. Can you imagine this nigga sitting here getting high, but you're past him to Jay, he hit it. Man, it's that gas pack. Where the fuck you get it from, D.C.? I said, yeah, young man, I got it from D.C., man. He said, well, look here, I'm going to tell you a story. I'm going to tell it good to you. And I'm going to make sure that you understand it. I said, all right, tell it to me. Hey, take one more drag. He hit that joint. He said, one dark day in the middle of the night, two dead motherfuckers got up to fight. Back to back, they faced each other. One pulled out a sword and shot the motherfucker. A dead policeman, he see, he heard the noise. He came back and shot the two dead boys. If you don't believe his lie is true, ask that blind motherfucker, because he saw it too. I said, Uncle, I'm not smoking with your ass no motherfucking more, man. You got to leave that weed alone, dealing with you dealing with. And, and another reason why... You know what? I'm thinking about stopping smoking weed, really. This is like a public service announcement, because if motherfuckers know me, they know it's weird that I'm saying this. But I think I'm going to smoke weed because the older that you get, the more the, the, the forgetfulness symptom of weed kicks in. For example, tonight, 
I had to piss. I smoked a J, whole J to the face before I laid down. Do you hear me? Whole J. Got up. You hear me? Got up, said I got to pee, right? But we make me forget shit. So I go in the bathroom, the tub dirty. I start cleaning the tub and shit. What the fuck is the tub dirty for? These motherfuckers don't know how to have no kind of motherfucking respect. I got too many motherfucking kids running around. I see toys on the floor. I get the toys up out of the motherfucking thing. Then I start sweeping the floor, seeing the shit. I see shit on the mirror, clean the mirror. I go back, lay down for a piss all over my goddamn self. I forgot to fucking piss. I just cleaned the bathroom up, laid down, and pissed all over myself. So after, you, you know, I'm telling you, you may be smoking weed for a long time. It's going to stop after a while because you're going to be forgetting simple, stupid shit. Simple, stupid shit. Yeah, man. So you got it. That's probably why, you know, people don't, you know, my uncle, he still smoke weed. He don't give a fuck. He smoke weed and sing fucked up R&B songs. Good R&B songs, but he fuck them up because he, you know, he be cursing his shit. The nigga was singing one in a million the other day. Scared the shit out of me. I came in there. His motherfucker ass had one towel on. Ass naked damn near. Singing one in a million. Bitch, the chance of a fucking lifetime. Why you got a curse in that part, huh? Because that's what the song say. I, I told him one time, I said, uh, tell me a black history fact. Do you know what this nigga told me? He said, all right, black history fact number one. He looked in a book and everything. Oh, right here, say, chapter two, page six, I fuck Harriet Tubman. I said, man, leave me alone. Man. Leave me the fuck alone. That's not black. It is black history. I fucked her. You know, so I stopped smoking with my uncle, leaving shit alone, man. But who y'all favorite rapper? Anybody got a favorite rapper in the house? No? No favorite rappers? Jay-Z? Jay-Z, Jay-Z. Yeah, yeah, he's one of my favorite rappers too, man. I got a white boy, a white friend of mine. Anybody got white friends? I got, I got a white friend, man. And this dude right here, he's one of those, you know, the, the throwback jokes we used to do. The, uh, a white boy came up to me one day, real good friend of mine, Sandbox, been knowing him for I don't know how many years. And he walked up to me. His favorite rap, rapper is the Notorious B.I.G. He loved Biggie. He's a, he's a Biggie Smalls motherfucking person. So I told him, I said, hey, man, you love Biggie Smalls? He said, yes, that's my favorite rapper. The Notorious B.I.G. is my man. And I cram to understand why he's gone. I said, well, you know, I try not to, you know, worry about why he's gone. All we trying to figure out now is what the fuck do your ass know about Biggie Smalls? So I challenged him. You know, he white. I underestimated him. Because, you know, white people is it. I give a shout out to white people. This man told me, specifically out of his mouth, he said, Biggie Smalls lyrics pertain to my life specifically. And I challenged his ass. I said, man, you don't know nothing about no motherfucking Biggie Smalls lyrics. He looked at me and he said, who the fuck is this? Paging me at 546 in the morning. It's the crack of dawning and God damn it, now I'm yawning. Wipe the coals out of mine eyes. See who's this paging me and why. I found out it's my nigger pop. He's from the barbershop. He told me he was in the gambling spot and that he heard yet an intricate plot. The niggers want to stick me like flies, paper neighbor. Slow down, love. Please chill and drop the caper. I said, God damn, you got the lyrics together. I still challenge. You know, I'm a New York nigga, so he touched me. I said, man, you don't know the rest. He said, do you remember those niggers from the hill up in Brownsville that you rolled ice with? You smoke blunts and you got nice with? He said, yeah, those are my niggers. Fame up from Prospect. No, those are my niggers. No love would never disrespect. He said, God damn it, I didn't say them. They schooled me on some sons of bitches that you knew from back when, when you were clocking yet just minor figures. But now they heard you blowing up like nitro, and they want to stick the knife through your windpipe slow. So thank fame for warning me. Now I'm warning you. I've got the gat nigger. Tell me exactly what you like to do. I looked at him. I said, damn, the niggers will want to stick me for my papers. <laughs> I said, this motherfucker no biggie. <laughs> He said, I know the smalls. <laughs> I know the notorious one. You know, so I don't underestimate white people at all, man. At all, man. And, 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 and it's crazy because when I was on the road a couple of years ago, I'm glad I ain't got no motherfucking roommates no more because I had a roommate. Uh, man, listen, my roommate, I hate his fucking ass to this day. He's from somewhere in Africa. I don't know where the fuck. He told me the name. And he grunted and did that shit that they do. I couldn't figure out where the fuck it was. I looked on Google. I couldn't find the shit. I think he lying because he would speak. All right, here's what happened. One time we got robbed, okay? We got robbed in the house. We got robbed. People came in, took the shit. I was gone. He called me. See, he speak half his language, and then he mix it with English. And, you know, living with him for so motherfucking long, I'm the only one that can understand him. Nobody can. I came in the house. He got robbed. He looked at me. He said, Sean. I said, what? He said, I said, what? He said, we just got robbed. 
I said, oh, shit, okay. So we just got robbed. Okay, uh, uh, what the fuck happened? What happened? He said, the niggas took the CDs and DVDs. I said, what? He said, the niggas took the CDs and the motherfucking DVDs. I said, so they came in the house, they took the CDs and the motherfucking DVDs. I said, why you ain't do nothing, man? Why you ain't fuck him up? He said, he got mad as shit. Then he said, who's in the mouth? Who's in the mouth? The nigga look just like you. <laughs> I said, God damn. The only thing I can do then was hit his ass, and I robbed him. <laughs> God damn it. How do you know it was me? I hate him, man. Uh, now, the last time I bumped into him was here in D.C. about six months ago. He was my Uber driver. I couldn't believe it. I got in the car. He recognized me, too. He said, Sean. I said, what? He said, I'm going to listen to I drive the Uber now. I said, God damn, okay. <laughs> Take me where the fuck I got to go. And, 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 you know, when you get in the Uber, y'all ever get in the Uber? And uh, I, I got in a Spanish Uber one day. The dude was Spanish. I don't know. He ain't, like, he knew just a little bit of English. And the whole ride, he was trying to explain where he was from. I said, well, where you from? He was like, eh, donde este, uh, eh, uh, 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 papa, eh, eh, from the, oh, how do you say, Nicaragua. I was like, God damn, this nigga rock over there. And then he want to explain shit. And let's, let me tell you how you know you got a fucked up president. I get in a lot of Ubers, and every time I get in an Uber, somebody talking bad about the motherfucking president. And don't matter what nationality it is. They, I'm, I'm, I, got in a, I remember I was in, doing a show in Charlottesville. I needed to go to the hotel real quick, right? I got in an Uber. You know, it ain't nothing but, but, but hicks out that motherfucker. I get in an Uber. It's a, a white man with a beard this long. He looked at me. He like, hmm. That's all I heard. When they say that in West Virginia, you get picked up in the Uber and you black, they go, mm, watch the fuck out. That nigga's not taking you to your destination. That nigga took me to a 7-Eleven that sell live bait. Scared the shit out of me. I said, where you going? He said, what you mean where I'm going? I'm going up in here, get me some Copenhagen. I said, get some what? He said, I'm going to get some fucking Copenhagen. What the fuck are you worried about going for? I'm going to get some fucking Copenhagen so I can go ahead and chew me something while I drive this nigga. I'm sorry, this guy, where he needs to go. <laughs> <laughs> you know and i and you know I, all walks of life for people man and they all talk bad about the president even his white ass talk bad about the president i just fuck with him because i know i'm close to the destination when i was like two minutes away i said man so what you feel about trump he said i knew that your ass was going to bring that up you dark son of a bitch let me tell you where you're at god damn it this here west virginia okay this here west virginia we don't even say that fucking name right here fuck him I don't know why we voted for him, but we came out and we voted in this summer, bitch, making us look terrible. God damn, you're just going to tell all the secrets alive? <laughs> you know <laughs> you know that? You need to take down that goddamn Twitter. That's all I keep hearing from people. You need to take down. Even the Spanish Uber driver, I did it. Hey, Donald Trump, hey, the wall so stupid because he hey, can fly. I said, damn, that makes sense. <laughs> he said, I, I, I figured that out here. I be president too. <laughs> Hey, your dumb ass probably could be president <laughs> with him being president. Even my African Uber driver, he was mad as fuck at Donald Trump. I said, man, what the fuck you mad for, man? You know, you from Africa, man. You could easily go back there and everything. He said, fuck that shit. The man in the motherfucking Donald Trump is some the bullshit. It don't make no sense what they're doing to the people. They let the people shoot the people. They got the guns and they shoot the police. And the people shoot the people. And it is fucked up over here. I, 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 I leave from over there to come over here. Same shit over here. Go back over there. Come back. Same shit. Over there. Like, Where do I go? I said, man, go to my destination and drop me the fuck off. <laughs> right. That's what you need to do. But, yeah, man, make sure y'all do. Uh, make sure y'all make sure that you come on to. No, not tomorrow. Friday, Friday night to the D.C. Draft House, 1045 show. It's going to be a packed house. It's like five to six comedians. on. It's featuring your boy. And um, it's going to be a lot of people coming out, a lot of friends, a lot of family. Everybody. It's the first time I performed in D.C. in a while because I'll be on the road a lot. So. This is a bona fide, you know, show that I really want y'all to go to. Um, you can, it's absolutely free if you go online and get your ticket. All you got to do is Google uh, DC Draft House and uh, you'll see the comedy show. It's called Attack of the Comics. Follow me at I Am Neverson uh, on Instagram. Um, we're trying to get them followers up on there. We the link promotion one. Make sure you follow that there. DMV Ghosts, make sure you follow that there. Bobby Garcia, We The Link Promotions, all of that. Just go online and just check everything I got going on, man. And we got so much things in store for you. I appreciate y'all listening to the old jokes. 
come out and get the new ones, the new ones, and have some new funds in D.C. Uh, on Friday night, 1045 show. All right. We're going to do this for y'all, man. A little something we put together. Huh? It's called U.I.A. Just gonna play with you.
right, all right. Glad we back. Come on, put your hands together, man. I'm trying to tell you, man. I, 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 I just don't, man. I don't know, man. When God put me in a place, man, to come here to be able to 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 do these shows, man, it, it's like it's such a privilege to be able to meet so many talented people because that's basically what it is with me about meeting people and being able to give them a uh, platform to be able to share their talent. <clears throat> now, my Facebook page thing messed up. I ain't going to be dealing with it all day. They, you just got to get on YouTube and catch it up later. But, man, look, let me, let me shake your hand. Uh, you, man. Because, man, I'm, I'm telling you, man, that was, that was wonderful. And I know you got a whole lot more that you could have gave them. Somebody trying to call you. A whole lot more you could have gave them, man. But I know you got something coming up that you want to kind of save your, your good yeah, stuff, yeah, man. You know what I mean? And that's cool. So what Appreciate we want to do right now, man, we want to get y'all to call in if you can, 240-719-2560. If you got any questions for them, if you want to ask them something, even if you want them to do, say, uh, somebody else, somebody you know, somebody that's in, in the light that you may want them to see if he can copy their voice or something of that nature, man. Feel free to call in right now, man, 240-719-2560. Now, while we're waiting on calls, right. introduce your, your, your partner here again for me, please. All right. Um, now I got to do it properly. Um, and hopefully it won't be too long. Like I said, when I first got to D.C., um, I got love from, you know, some so many comics that hired me, actually, you know, put mm -hmm. money in my pocket to perform, uh, specifically like my man Mike Brooks and, you know, a uh, whole bunch of other cats, man, uh, coming from the Baltimore market, uh, too. And um, I got to a point to where, you know, I was getting, you know, a little bit of traction as far as popularity was in D.C., but I always, you know, figured that if I could find, you know, somebody that could, you know, be the driving force and the engine mm -hmm. to promotion, that I'd be okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, through, uh, through my uh, close mutual sister friend, um, I met uh, the gentleman I'm about to introduce to y'all right now who's been really detrimental along with the team and a host of others, but um, as far as overseeing the whole promotion of uh, Sean Neverson, you know, right, uh, right. you know, the whole point, the whole me being in D.C. and right. people knowing who I am in D.C. Um, on a popular radius is because of this gentleman and um, because of the company that, um, you know, that he founded and uh, among other companies that he has. Right. Um, <coughs> his name is uh, Jose Ross. Jose Even Ross. They call him. You know, he don't like too much of the spotlight, but, you know, I kind of forced him to get on over here, so partner with Lackey, you know, you don't know, like the camera too much. But um, he the reason why, um, he's the reason why I'm popping in D.C., to be totally honest, along with um, a host of friends and family that have, you know, shown nothing but support for the Sean Everson name, the Sean Everson brand, and everything. And, um, you know, it's planted my feet here for five years. Like I said, this is the only city I've been, right. uh, you know, stayed this long. And it's, you know, because of the love that I'm getting and the promotion that I'm getting. And, right. Uh, you know, uh, like I said, the company is called We The Link Promotion One. I'm sure, you know, he'll explain it a little bit more. But um, there's a lot of detail to it. But um, it is a single-handed reason as to why you see a lot of everything that you see as far as promotion okay. uh, on and off the Internet. So, okay. yeah, All right. without further ado. Nice, nice to meet you, nice Mr. To you, Ross. Nice um, to so, uh, give me a little bit background on yourself first yeah, before no we question. talk about you, that's, your relationship with him, that's the with, best what, part. You, what you got going on. All right, well, uh, first and foremost, I've been here before with Pee Wee and Carlos Holcomb. Uh, <clears throat> we founded in uh, We The Link Promotions, promotional company, global, from Southside Jamaica, Queens, New York, all the way down to Winsburg County, and Orangeburg, South Carolina. That's okay. the extension right now. I mean, from Minnesota, Minneapolis, et cetera. It goes... In depth. I'm right. from Simple City, Southeast DC. So okay. I come from an out of reach ever. Right, right. Right, right, right. And I'm here now to do things that nobody's doing really in our city from mm -hmm. 93.9, mm -hmm. WPGC, these people mm -hmm. that I personally may know. I have a good relationship with the personalities, but uh, the political station stuff, I'm not there because right. nobody's really marketing or advertising good people like exactly. we're doing right. and I'm not conceited I'm just taking claim on that's right. the that's God given right. talent that's spread out at least amongst these four men that I know mm -hmm. and then now the platform that you provide right. like I said we've been here before on a, on the Daryl uh, Harris thing uh, show uh, and like I say man I know a lot of people personally and we do things to the point where if we're not pushing each other or driving I don't even want no parts of it that's right if, if if people like me, Pee Wee, and a few of our other executives is like 34 and 
We the bridge. Mm -hmm. If people like your age, and it's never no disrespect mm -hmm. for my aunt, if it's people like you to have platforms like this and not reaching out to the communities, mm -hmm. maybe not or can't or mm -hmm. trying to find a way through leaders mm -hmm. of the new wave like myself. That's right. The bridge ain't gonna be completed. Mm -hmm. Or we just got people working on the bridge that just not, they shouldn't be working on it. Right. Because it's not gonna really reach the people mm -hmm. that it should. Mm -hmm. Me and you both know this ever now, it needs our push. That's right. Not just mine, because I might need somebody like yours that's mm -hmm. older that can right. probably not play with the brain, right. but really put us on platforms where exactly. we get. And that's <clears throat> that's what we have built right here mm -hmm. amongst uh we got a nonprofit, uh I could sort for the men, Eddie Mon who played for the Washington Redskins and District Heights, Maryland. Mm -hmm. Jonathan Medlock, you know what I'm saying? Uh I'm not supposed to really release this, but right. at the end of the day, everybody who know me from Ron Moe to Mayor Bowser, I'm not gonna say I don't have I don't care attitude, but right. for my team, I right. don't care. Right. We about to be sponsored by Pepsi and Canada Dry. Okay. These are the type of jobs that I do, and me and my team, we run down mm -hmm. the people that we least think that's gonna think first, mm -hmm. gonna help us, mm -hmm. and then once we there, right. we'll see from there how right. this goes. Exactly. And exactly. Uh, we, we have our own product, like uh, from United Black Front, Front Miller Copy and Service, mm -hmm. American Legion, mm -hmm. Heavily Chicken and Ribs. We got hitters. Right, you right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. and at the end of the day, for me to come from where I come from and had this type of entrepreneurship that mm -hmm. I was spiritually blinded. Right. So, it took me to sit down for a while okay. Okay. and to come out and see, like, oh, if we don't reach the new era, that's mm -hmm. reckless, mm -hmm. but very talented, though. Right, right. And I love the new era because if you reckless and talented, Something's covering the other, but once the tide in the pot cover the reckless part, it's just structure now. Right, right. Because you're still right. a man. That's right. Or a woman, king, right. queen, whatever. Right. So I'm here just to uh, be on your platform because, like I said, Daryl know me personally. And actually, uh, Daryl, to I'm definitely going to get Daryl a call soon because we are displaying uh, the 426, which is my brother and his son that passed. Mm -hmm. It's in this uh, in these new calendars that we formed. <clears throat> and uh, it's called 4, 426, if I, if, I'm, if I could be correct, right, it's four, okay, 426, oh. man, shout out to the whole motorsports, man. I don't right. have to say nothing. Right. We control digital everywhere, and not right. bad. Right. We are physical uh, marketers, promoters, and right. advertisers, which means that everything everybody doing with their business on digital, right. just doing it. Right. Just doing it. Right. We're branding. Right, exactly. We're branding, we linking, we're teaming. You with it or you not, and if you not, it's your loss right, because this right. is a community movement and the right. community start from seven on up, like that's a drink. Right. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like me just not being, I'm only in the limelight when I have to be. That's right. team participation. My yeah. man called me, yeah. and he's one of the greatest comedians that ever come from out uh, New York City. Right. <clears throat> with these calendars, uh, we are in fundraiser mode, which means that we bring a Mama Kim out May 25th from Love and Hip Hop. Mm -hmm. right. uh, Shout out to Mama Kim. Uh, we are connected to the Lost Boys, Bobby Garcia. Mm -hmm. This is, it's heavy on what we doing. Right. Shout outs to Ja Rule, shout outs to Desert Storm, DJ Clue. Right. Uh, the Clue team that we putting TV. together is different people from different right. cities. Right. So like everybody, and no disrespect to Nipsey Hussle, but when you feel like and you know it's other Nipsey Hussles in every city. Right. You gotta get to them first before right. some bullshit happens. Right, that's right. Or some things that we all got our own theories on. It right. is what it is. I don't right. judge nobody. I'm, I'm one of them type of young men. Just I don't question nothing. And I might even think I got the answer. Right. So right. I put the actions to formation, right. which means never seen with the comedy. Uh, shout outs to One Nation Established, man. Uh, my man Ghost, he do the TCB every Monday at the Dirty Martini Bar. Mm -hmm. We are young breeders, man. That That's right. We ain't from no cloth. We're from a different brick, right. man. Right, right. So you got to right. hit hard with right. us because right. what we bringing is physical for the youth, and then you jump on your digital. You know what right. I'm saying? Sometimes <clears throat> most of these youngers don't even know what street they on. Right. That's sad. Right. I'm not old, old, but I know if you, you don't mean, know what you're street you on, yeah. that mean this right here is controlling right, you. Right, yeah, uh, yeah, that phone is That's vicious. why we do so much physical shows right. and platforms like this, so right. I could be able to bring the new talent on right. maybe lost, because right. nobody pushed me. That's right. So if I feel like, okay, if I could push this dude instead of getting on my grass, put your guns down, right. but right. sending you back where it's active at, right. you in the way. That's right. You in the way. That's right. So I'd rather be able to bring them to a platform mm -hmm. where now the bridge is, they might know who you are. Right. And who knows where it go from there? Right. I, right. I'm not right. UPS, so it's right. like, once I drop that off, right. Right. there's no gatekeepers, there's That's no it. middle That's man. right. It's That's right. Straight, yeah, yeah. Just plugged straight in. love and energy. Yeah. Straight plugged yeah. in. Yeah, yeah. yeah.
And for us to say this our city, like, <clears throat> when you first open the cabinets up, because this is D.C. Power Brokers. Right. D.C. stands for Determined City. Right. That's how we doing it. That's right. And right. that's the last side I grabbed. New York, mm -hmm. all five boroughs. Shout out to mm -hmm. everything moving in New York. Mm -hmm. Period. And for this man to right. come here and be in uh, Mayfair, Killing, right. Simple City, right. uh, Jardines, and then right. VA, DC. I'm right. seeing it. Right. I'm right. seeing him interview right. people. You That's know right. what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like <clears throat> when you see their excitement off of somebody that the links through me and it's right. like, oh, this his platform now because right. we got mm -hmm. young comedians, young comics that's out here doing their thing. Right. So they have a platform, thank you. Right. <clears throat> a platform for the, to get on. Well let me let me <clears throat> say this. Let me say this, man, because everything that you you saying right now, man, is most definitely true. It's 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 all in what we trying to do right. as a whole. And you're gonna have some people that not gonna really fall in line. Right. You know, because they sometimes people look at like because they don't really know you, like you don't know where you're going or you don't know what you're doing, but they got a platform to help you move, but they right. won't. Right. And that's something that I learned uh, with DC in certain places. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I'm saying I, I got on this show, man, through some guys that said, man, hey, I think, man, you'll be good on here, man. Right. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Because what I'm trying to bring is exactly what y'all said today. Right. Exactly what you're saying out today, Slim, right. is what I want to be heard. Is what I want people to understand that we can be our own entrepreneurs mm -hmm. and we can make things happen, right. but we Fast. gotta go for it. We can't just be waiting and, right. and thinking that, man, okay, if 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 it ain't working this way, I'm done. I'm done. You know what I mean? Because yeah. it really happens <laughs> through the people that you meet. Mm. It's the people that you meet that take you where mm. you're trying to go. Mm. We can't do nothing by ourselves. That's why blood, I'm not gonna say it don't matter. But loyalty, it just defined the king and the queen on all levels. Forget the signal, I mean, the, 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 uh, the symbols, the, the labels. Because if my mother wasn't a good mother, I would tell her. Right, you, right. Your label is some shit. Exactly. But then though she's my queen, right. she play her label very, very well. well. So That's right. I know labels do matter. But loyalty from whom, from yes, another soul, yes, that's, that yes, overrules yes, everything. Yes, man. man yes, you know man. what I'm saying? So, I'm most definitely, man... Uh, Take this moment, man, to to congratulate you on what you're doing and where you're going you. and how you're going to do it. Because just sitting here, I feel you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I feel your strength. I feel mm. where you're trying to go and what you want to do and that you're going to do it. No question. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't about nobody pushing you. You're pushing yourself. So guess what? With that right there and you get some more strong men with you beside you to do that stuff, there's no way y'all can't go. That's why I got him pushing me. <laughs> right, yeah, you know what I'm saying, and I, and I mean, but but it's real I mean, though. It. It's real though Makes because sense, right? it's a lot of it's a lot of artists, <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people with got talent, like you say, man. They may be in the street all fucked up, boo right. boo, but if you can grab them and pull that talent out of right. their ass, man, right. then that other shit is absolute, man. It's because dead. now they see where they trying to go. I'm just saying, go. if I'm in a wheelchair and I need to be pushed, I'm gonna call Jose Raw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna call it. Uh, yeah, I need to push. <laughs> you know. Because it is beautiful. That's how, I felt like, that's how I felt at that point in my career. And we've done so much. We had a show out mm -hmm. here. And, you know, we're extremely humble guys. But, um, you know, another big reason why we're known out here is because we ran a, a weekly comedy show on Tuesday nights mm -hmm. down at Adams Morgan. Twice. Mm -hmm. Twice. Twice. Two. Twice. 33 minutes. Yeah, I, 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 snow. I didn't know anything All about week, it. Yeah, so, so this this is what I want to make sure y'all know. First, especially you show. know tonight Indeed. that if y'all got anything going on, that because I'm only on here on Wednesday nights. Mm. If y'all got anything going on, man, y'all trying to get it pushed out there, man, call me. Let me know. I'm gonna most definitely promote it that Wednesday night. You know what I'm saying? I can, I'm, I'm, I can get some. Yeah. I can get some platforms right. here too. You know what I'm know saying? Yeah, we're gonna, we gonna sit down, man. We're gonna get together and we're gonna try to make some things move, man. Because wow. that's what I'm. That's what I'm about, man. Because like every week, I'm gonna have something new going on. Some something that some people may not even know, but other people do right. know. That's but I'm, course, Yeah, this you know right what I'm saying? Can, yeah, it can hinder right. you. Right. Yeah. Ah, uh, you right. Yeah. Right. So you, you know what I'm saying, man? We 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 gonna most definitely. Link up, man, and, and put our minds together, man, and wherever I can help, I'm going to help, man, because I got a live band. You know what I'm saying? I got a band called Let's Do It Again Band and Show, man. Mm. And we looking for some pushes. We, we looking to get some wins. You know all, what I mean? Like, yeah. So, you know what I mean? With that right there, man, I want to take a real quick break. For we can uh, get ready to wrap this thing up, we're going to take a real quick break, and then we'll be right back, man, to let uh, Bernie Mac in this thing. <laughs> oh, no, that ain't Bernie Mac. My, my, that's Sean. But <laughs> we're going we're gonna to end this thing, man, but we're going to go to this song, and then we'll be right back.
See you in a minute. We're going to do this for y'all, man. A little something we put together. Huh? It's called U.I.A. Just gonna play with you. enjoying the night, man, because I know I am. I am, man. Mm -hmm. I'm saying I got some people sitting here right now and today. Is, it's something like what I look for every week. Somebody with something that they got on their mind, something that they trying to do. They trying to promote something. They trying to be somebody. They be trying to control the world with what they got that God gave them. Mm -hmm. And that's what it's about. It's about power and strength. I need y'all to call in two. 407192560. Just give a call, man, if there's anything you want to know, anything you want to ask about any events they got coming up or anything of that nature. We just got joined with what's her name again? Destiny. Miss Destiny. 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 She is most definitely the Destiny. Uh uh well she, we know you're a oh, destiny. She's, uh, yeah, she's my stylist. She's, she's her she's, he's his stylist. Yeah, she responsible that, on yeah, that, making sure. She makes sure all his wardrobe and his shave and all yeah. that all right. <laughs> How you doing today, Destiny? I'm, I'm doing well. Is there anything Thank you want to say about uh your affiliation with this brother here? Keep going. Yeah. Keep going. Everybody here. Yeah. Not that's just right. him. That's I'm right. here for everybody that's here. Keep that's right. Going. That's right. Keep going. And if you want to be fly and look like the sky. That's right. Uh, that's right. Know? Do you got a website I'm or anything? Call. Destiny. Destiny. Destinyperson.com. Okay. All right. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm the one to call. Right. So, so <laughs> from what Destiny's saying, that if, if you out there, you in entertainment, man, and you want somebody, man, to hook you up, make sure you fly all the time. You understand me? Look her up. And that's what we need you to do, because we need to empower each other. You understand okay? me. You understand, you understand me. <laughs> what he <laughs> said. Now, now tell me, me about the relationship you had with Sean. But never since. All right, uh, out of five years since I've been actually like licensed to do business, mm -hmm. out of five years, uh, this May 25th will be my 15th show. Did oh. a dope fest at the Echo Stage with Snoop Dogg and Wiz. 2016, I did the community tour. Like, we took uh, different artists from different neighborhoods in the DMV, well-known mm -hmm. neighborhoods, mm -hmm. put them all together. We did a mixtape. I got a few investors and sponsors to help me put that together. Like I said, everything is in-house visionaries, right. all of us. Like, if Geeking for Success is the big house, then we all put our own visions together. That's why we got probably maybe a million and two projects for the next few years to come if yeah, that's what we want to do wonderful. you know what i'm saying that's yeah. the type of we know sleep team 25 minutes i we divide all that amongst our eight right. hours of sleep right so that's right how we work. right and since 2014 my sister introduced me to him when she actually said i want you to come up to the 2020 club and see my man and i'm like i i dealt with sugar poo before henry bo County, for mm -hmm. andre ward mm -hmm. so i i dealt with a lot of people to right. be young because right. i know them from the streets and growing up yeah, exactly so when I met Pee Wee, when I went up, I'm like, I don't really want to get into the, the comedy world. Right, I feel you. I'm cool with it, but I'm like, 
I know they could be a hassle. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, and I'm trying to look for somebody that I could build with because right. I have an idea. Right. If right. he's if he legit. Right. So I'm, right. Like, I'm gonna go there, test him out, and uh, I never forget this. October seventh, man. October seventh, I went up there and uh, sat down. I'm like, this nigga is versatile because mm -hmm. he's on the mic. Right. At the time, I didn't know the person that was the cameraman, the relationship that was. I'm like. Nigga holding the, the phone, mm -hmm. it's the camera. Right. He's playing the music. He's right. the DJ, the, and he got other artists on here, not just right. comics though. Right. He got other artists, and we the Link Network. That was our platform, mm -hmm. right. a platform where it's like you do what you want, and you never know what you're gonna get. Right. You're gonna have right. a great time, right. mixed crowd type stuff. Right. So by this man, real name being Sean Neverson. Yeah. I've never been a part of that. Yeah. So I want to. I'm right. weird. And when right. you're weird, that means I'm just being That's me. Right. That's right. Ain't nothing wrong <laughs> so with that. You, never, you yeah. know yourself. That's geniuses for no real. No question. Yeah. So when I seen all the stuff he was doing and we talked, we talked on the phone for like four hours straight. I was just driving around through the city talking to this nigga for four hours mm -hmm. and everything was like through the phone. It was just like, I'm like you bruh. You mm -hmm. bruh. I got mm -hmm. you. So I'm mm -hmm. like, all right, look, I always seen everything we had to do. Me and him put a plan together. I think the next week we had like almost 60 people there. So in seven days, mm. we calculated mm. that because people on my side mm -hmm. wasn't a part of the comic world. Mm -hmm. right. Everybody was still jumping up and down, right. you know, right. with the right. party. Right. So when I added that, it's like, okay, now I can display certain artists mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. top of the Neverson yes. show. And that's yes. when we created uh, the Neverson show, TNS. You yeah. never know what you get at the Neverson yes, show. Indeed. So that's how, yeah. that's how me and him built Personally, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because we already businessmen. Right. I don't have to give him the comedian part. And right. He don't have to tell me that I'm who I am. Right, exactly. So exactly. it was already built that I just need to know him personally because I've seen what you would do. That's right. <clears throat> so that's that's how me and him kicked the man in the... Uh, it's to the grave, man. That's right, man. It's to that's the grave, right, man. That's what it is. Well, it's to the grave. well, unfortunately, man, we're running out of time. We're going to have to go, man. But once again, man... I most definitely appreciate you coming Good out question. here, man, to give me Thanks, your time, man, because it sounds like you're a very busy, man. Thanks. I appreciate you, Mr. Neverson. Hey, you know, that name, I was wrestling with that all day. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, man, I never heard this name before, <laughs> man. Mm -hmm. And um, <laughs> I'd like to thank you, too, Miss um, Lady, for coming. Destiny. You know, Destiny for... Destiny Child for coming on this through here. <laughs> I do a little comedy you. myself, but uh, <laughs> I'm not here for that. But man, I appreciate you two gentlemen, man, for y'all coming out tonight too, man. And uh, look here, remember this, remember this thing right here, man. In power, in order to be able to be successful in life, we have to believe in ourselves. We have to believe in ourselves and believe in what we want. Where are we going and how are we going to get there? It's one man that's responsible, and that's the man on high. Yes. But he already know what he got for your destiny, and all you got to do is walk through the doors. If one closed, he's going to open up another. Yes. If you lose somebody, that don't mean you ain't supposed to lose that body because mm. sometimes we supposed to lose some friends mm. that we had because they're in the way. That's the Job life. You know what I'm saying? Job life. Yeah, so therefore, you got to understand something, man. We got so many gifts inside of us mm -hmm. all they got to do is be exposed mm -hmm. do we got to call oh we got to no no we, we got to wrap, wrap it up we got to wrap it up you should have called earlier <laughs> but look tell them where you going to be at this friday i'm going to be friday in dc at the draft house come on out there free tickets if you go online and just go in there and it's going to be great okay you got some shout outs hey, matter of fact look and then because his package is our package you buy a calendar you get a free ticket to see mama kim from love and hip hop May 25th, everything Pee Wee's doing, all the trail gonna go the exact same way. Same way. We all geeking for success, man. That's Once it, again, man, I like to thank Let's Do It Again Band and Show, man, for watching tonight, because I know y'all is. All my love, my friends, my family, everybody, man, we love you. We'll see you next Wednesday, same time. Peace and love from this time to the next time. We out. Our nation, man. Oh, my goodness. Here we go again. Come on. I like to send a special dedication out to all my family and friends. Come on, wow. Let's do it again, band and show. I said we all gonna go. Come on.
Yeah, I'm finna 